Moving on to another story that will make you frown for a different reason. Ultra right wing groups in Japan are going all out with hate speech rallies targeting ethnic Koreans. While local governments are calling for legal measures to stop the rallies, skeptics accuse the Shinzo Abe administration of turning a blind eye. Our Hwang Sung Hee reports. Insults against Koreans fly across the streets of the Japanese capital, Tokyo. <laughs> The number of hate rallies against some 500,000 ethnic Koreans has risen sharply in Japan. The campaigners say they cannot tolerate the privileges, such as the right to vote and access to welfare, bestowed to Korean residents. They justify the racial discrimination as their right to freedom of speech. What I'm doing is politics. Some say politics and discrimination is different, but it's all the same. It's a serious matter that has been taken to the international stage. In August, the United Nations Human Rights Committee demanded Japan add hate speech to legislation that bans racial discrimination. In December, the Supreme Court upheld a ruling by Osaka's High Court, the city with the largest Korean population, which ordered an ultra-right group pay a $120,000 fine for its hate speech rally. But the Abe administration has remained passive, saying the issue is under review. Since the beginning of the year, 24 local governments have taken the matter into their own hands, pressuring the central government to take legal measures. It's extremely dangerous to protect comments like kill someone under the banner of freedom of expression. While the Abe administration turns a blind eye to racial discrimination, concerns are rising as ultra-right-wing groups are planning a large-scale hate speech rally later this month. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.